curious. What was the vibe in the locker room after Game Four, and was there a significant difference after three zero to three one? Like, did you guys go? Obviously, nobody's ever come back down from three one. Feel or from three zero, but people that have come back down from three one. Was that like? Was that a conversation? Was that something that helped you guys get around? Uh, that specifically wasn't the conversation, but the vibe was always obviously good because we won, right? And uh, I think we also showed that that's how we got to play and how we should play every game, um, and that was more so the reason why the vibe was good. Yeah. We keep on talking that. He never has done that to come back from the 3 0, but we saw it actually in like 2004 when the Yankees played the Red Sox, you know, in the baseball, it actually happened. And also back then, the Stanley Cup with ice hockey, they also made it happen to come back from the 3 0. I mean, it's 1940 yes. something, but at the end, 42, I think. 42. I don't remember, but I read some, yeah. So you see, it's, it's possible at the end. Is it something that hunger is like deep inside of you? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, as a team, you know, when you play professional sports, you never quit. You always fight. You always play. You always compete. And I think we showed that last game. You know, we had that energy of that that urgence of like kind of like a little bit desperation. And uh, you know, we got to treat every game like that. Um, there's no relaxing. We got to play our best because obviously we're playing against the best. Um, but we're gonna stay together and compete until the last game. Um, so that's got to be the mindset, no matter what. Um, you know, it has always been made history in sports and different sports. So um, you th I think, as an athlete, you should always believe in that and always keep fighting for that. Everybody is talking about that Luca and Kyrie need more help from the teammates. Mm -hmm. How can you help them? How can you create your own jobs? Being guarded with us. Yeah. Well, we have our schemes and we have a certain way that we play. I think it's more so understanding where we want to be and how we want to create certain mismatches and certain drive and shot opportunities. So it's not so much changing our playing style right now. Uh, we got to keep playing the, the basketball that we played all season long and that got us here. We just got to make sure that we create the spot and the, the spacing for Kyrie and Luca in the first two games. Uh, we didn't do it as much, so they had to take harder shots. They had to settle for different shots. Game four, we played with a different pace. We got it up quick. Um, you know that creates mismatches and better opportunities for us, and that also creates the open floor for, for example, uh, Derek Jones attacking early in the shot clock and stuff like that. So it's more so about finding the right spacing, um, but there's no time to like change our style right now. But also, an issue, an issue of confidence? No, I don't think so. But Maxi, on defense, you play different beyond the urgency. You play different yeah. uh, than really anything you've played. Your lineup, I think, played 88 minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you started at the end of the third game, the fourth quarter of the third game. That's when you started getting your mojo. Mm -hmm. What is it like to, to have a certain way of playing and all of a sudden you're beyond the urgency, tactical stuff, being able to be a little bit different and everybody says whatever it takes? Whatever it takes. I mean, that's like, like I said, the mindset. Um, you know, it's not going to be perfect, especially against a team like that. And there had to be adjustments, obviously, because they play a little bit different than other teams. Um, but I think we have great guys, smart guys, high IQ guys that can adapt to changes. And that's what we showed, you know, last game. Um, overall, I think still the, the energy was the key factor, and one of the guys who got us going early is, for example, Derek Lively. Um, you know, just like having that energy and alertness helps us to be on the same page, communicate better, um, and have the right rotations down. And that's what we gotta keep doing. You know, challenge every shot. They're obviously a great shooting team, um, so you can't have any moments of uh, yeah, like where you just mess up multiple multiple uh, offensive plays or defensive plays because they just go on gonna go on a run so um, for us I think the energy kept us being alert and helped us like adjusting to those defensive rotations too. Did you sense that you guarded guards more in that game four than perhaps your normal game and what was that like? Uh, I did uh, but it always depends on the matchups and what the game situation is like right at the end of the day it's five shooting guys so it's gonna be a lot of switching anyway um, and then we just got to make sure we communicate and, and figure out who's gonna be the low man who's gonna be up top who's gonna to pressure the ball um, so it doesn't really matter who's gonna pick up who because everybody's almost interchangeable in that sense um, we just got to make sure um, that we rotate the right way and especially against their star players who are gonna carry a lot of their offensive uh, responsibilities everybody's on high alert to you know protect each other anybody in the post who bother with your length but what about outside? What do you have to watch out for out when you're guarding a, a, a guard who's quick with the ball outside? 
it really depends on the skill set, obviously, uh, and on his tendencies. So I can't specifically just answer that. It always depends on what this guy wants to do himself, and then what is my ability to take that away, and then also what is the our our schemes on the defensive end. So um, we have different rules for different guys: how we want to pressure the ball, where we're going to send him, um, what shots we try to live with, and what we try to take away. Um, so it's very specific to each player. Is it too easy or too simple to say that Boston is the worst opponent in this playoff for you? The worst? Yeah. In, how do you mean? The most, most, yeah. I mean, most gift. I mean, Boston was the number one seed in the East, had the best record in the league, so obviously they're a very good team. Um, but you know, like I said, for us it's more so focusing on how we have to play and approach the game the right way. And we got to play with the right energy like we did in Game 4. Hey, Maxi. Do you remember your first Trust Talk experience in the NBA? The what? The first Trust Talk experience in the NBA. Trust? Trust, trust Talk. Trust Talk. Trash Talk. Uh, sorry, sorry for that. No, no, all good, all good. Sorry, I didn't understand. Uh, where I talk trash or somebody else? Because I, I don't think so. No. You're going to remind me? Who's the best trash talk? Yeah. Best trash talk. Man, I don't know. I got it. That, that's caught me off guard. I got to think about the question a little bit. I, I wouldn't have an answer. Okay. But, but would you say because everyone says like Luca? Yeah. Would you say like? Yeah, but I'm his teammate, so okay. in practice, yeah, he, he talks trash here and there. But um, I think we got to ask other guys on other teams uh, on how good he is or not because he's been my teammate the entire time. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay Max. Thank you. Thank you. Because everyone's kind of you know. Being in 3 all back, this is like so much pressure. But would you say that this pressure actually helps you because you know you have to perform out? Like, does it even because it's kind of also a good situation that could help you to stay really in focus? Yeah, yeah, I almost think it's it's the way you want to look at it. Um, yeah. You can have different opinions about it. Uh, for us, it's just, you know, we have nothing to lose. You just got to go out there, play free, play your hardest, um, because after that, like after those games, that that's it, right? So. Um, I don't think the thoughts about pressure itself change much for each individual person. Maybe I'm lying, um, but you know, this is like the moment where you can just like play free and give it it all because it's the last shot you have. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Max. Good seat on the left of sixth. Huh?